20 minutes from the old station caravan park is Swinton Park, host to one of the top cookery schools in the country, offering a wide range of top-notch cookery classes, from half-day classes for newbies like me, to a full-on two-day residential masterclass. Plus there's courses on everything from dinner parties to the ultimate Sunday lunch. And I've chosen to do the foraging course so I can make the most of nature's harvest. I'm here now with Chris Bax, who's going to tell me all about what there is to do. Hi, Chris. Hi there. Oh, well, we're here at Swinton Park today, and um, there's a, a lot of acreage here that we can explore and lots of wild food that we can pick. And being autumn, it's a great time for mushrooms and wild herbs, all sorts of things. And what safety precautions do you need to take? Um, well, I would say you need to be very sure of anything you pick. And the best way to do that, obviously, is to come on a course and learn, you know, what's good and what's bad. But you can't just go out and just pick anything and eat it. Obviously, there is, you know, pitfalls with that. Um, but providing you have a healthy respect for the subject, it can be a really fun, you know, enjoyable uh, pastime. Even for just a day out, the woodland and countryside around Swinton Park is just stunning. And it wasn't long before our foraging expert, Chris, found something good to eat hidden under a tree. We've got a really interesting little uh, wild herb here. Um, this is called ale hoof. Oh, OK. Um, or ground ivy. And um, this was actually used to flavour beer before we had hops in the UK. So that's how it's got, got its name, ale hoof. Um, but it's got an incredible ar aroma to it. It's mint family. Ooh. But if you crush it, Smell it. It's almost a mixture of kind of sage and rosemary. Goes yeah, really well great. with lamb. So, with some ale hoof in the basket, Chris introduced me to cooking with acorns and lots of other weird, wonderful, and perfectly edible plants. But the main course was always going to be big, meaty mushrooms. Wow! That's awesome. There's <laughs> loads um, of them. It's a good one because it's edible, uh, and there's plenty of them. It's called honey fungus. And it's really parasitic and that's why it's actually killed this tree, that's why they've had to uh, cut it down. But these young ones here, Ooh. see how they're very young and we've got nice white gills underneath here. So that's perfect and edible. Yeah, but what we what don't want is not. these that have started to discolour mm. and gone like a creamy colour or a sort of tan colour. We want the really white ones. So if we go for little ones that are closed up like that, it'd be perfect. Okay. One thing you have to remember about this mushroom is that it needs, you can't eat it raw, it needs to be cooked and I would say you have to cook it like chicken so it needs to be cooked right the way through. So it's not okay. a problem but um, it just means... That's that a good way to think it. about it though, if yeah, you think exactly. about it like chicken. Yeah. Exactly. So we could pick some of these that are this size and uh, yeah we'll have a little something to do when we get back. Okay. Mushroom picking can be very dangerous indeed and if you misidentify a mushroom it can be lethal so don't even think about doing this unless you're with an expert like Chris. That said, I'm looking forward to my free meal courtesy of the Swinton Park foraging course. So we've come to the end of a fantastic trip to the Yorkshire Dales. I've had a wonderful time here meeting so many lovely people. I can't wait to come back and I'm sure if you visit you'll have as much fun as I did.